New England cottontails disappearing. As recently as 1960, New England cottontails could be found in almost every northeastern state. Today this rabbit's range has shrunk by more than 75% and has been reduced to only five smaller populations throughout its historic range. Today we are going to meet with Connecticut State and regional professionals who are working hard to restore the New England cottontail with the help of the State Wildlife Grant Program. Hi, I'm Steve Fuller. I'm the regional coordinator for the range-wide New England Cottontail Initiative. The New England Cottontail is a candidate for federal listing and I'm partnering with uh, individuals from the state of New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Massachusetts along with the Wildlife Management Institute to try and recover this species. We're here on Goshen Wildlife Management Area in Connecticut and we're planning to put 57 acres of habitat management on the ground here. The Rangewide New England Cottontail Initiative started in the spring of 2009 when we were funded through the Competitive State Wildlife Grants Program. Through the grant funds, we've refined habitat models for the entire range of the species. We've been able to identify focus areas for conservation, even down to the parcel level. We're standing in, at the edge of a wet draw. You can see I'm standing in very thick shrub cover. It's mostly meadow sweet uh, around me. There are willows, uh, alder, viburnums, and dogwoods. New England cottontails are especially sensitive to predation during the winter, and that's why they need such thick cover. Um, their fur is brown throughout the winter, and they're highly visible against the snow. During colonial times, much of the New England landscape was cleared for agriculture and then subsequently abandoned during the early 1900s. The abandonment of this farmland allowed for a great deal of early successional habitat to develop. Today, these habitats are aging, while others have been developed and are no longer suitable for the New England cottontail. My name is Judy Wilson. I work for the DEP Wildlife Division, the state of Connecticut. My role in the New England Cottontail Initiative is to try to engage private landowners in, um, in this initiative. We held a New England Cottontail Workshop to reach out to area landowners who were near to project sites where we're putting um, New England Cottontail habitat on state land areas where we know we have populations of New England Cottontails. Over 95% of the land in Connecticut is held in private ownership. So it's extremely important that we reach out to private landowners and try to get them involved in managing their property for New England cottontails. Over 47 species, uh, early successional specialists requiring you know dense, dense thickets and early successional young forests have been identified as species that will benefit from very similar management activities. Some of these species include uh, golden ring warblers, blue ring warblers, uh, American woodcock, um, wood turtle, so there's a whole variety of both non-game and game species that benefit from this uh, type of management prescriptions. The project's extremely uh, exciting to the state. We've been doing research for about 10 years and have a very good handle on distribution of New England cottontail and eastern cottontail throughout Connecticut. And this funding really gave us the opportunity to start restoring some of the areas critical to this, uh, this population of, of rabbits.